Yo, 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 when kings talk, the conversation different. But you already know that. Pastor Jen O'Jenna said that Jesus was not white. He said Jesus was not white. He said that the con man, the con artist, the racist fella, painted Jesus white to control the masses. Y'all have to see this video, man. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like and share. Pastor Jen O'Jenna's. He said he's standing on the truth. Check this out. What that got to do with it, Pastor Jennings? Satan have used symbolism. Right. Have used imagery and symbolism. Yeah. To trick the ignorant. Yeah. And to promote wickedness. Yeah. Now, when I preach against racism, some white brothers write me and said, you know, you kind of sound, I kind of hear some racism in your voice. You know how, now listen, don't, don't try to flip the script. <laughs> when I preach against racism, you don't hear racism in my voice, you hear truth in my voice. That's right. Now, this have no place, no place. in God's house. Amen. Amen. This is not Jesus. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? He ain't Jesus. No. And he's showing Jesus. That's right. That's not Jesus. Amen. Now, the Europeans took this. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to hit hard. If you got me looking up to white people Go ahead. to think they are superior and look down at myself as a black man to teach me that I'm inferior, that is terrorism. Terrorism. I listen. So, I listen. So, what Satan, what Satan preachers done? That's right. They made it. See, it don't matter what color God is, because we don't know. We don't know what color God is. That's right. And we don't care. But if I got a different agenda, and I see that you are religious. I got to manipulate religion to see what I can get out of you. So Satan messengers made Jesus white. And some made him black. Some made him yellow. Some made him brown. But the majority made him white. That's right. And what they did with the so-called white Jesus was use imagery so people of color can look at the preacher mm -hmm. can look at the image and notice that the preacher in the image resemble That's right. and then make them believe that bowing to Jesus is bowing to the preacher that's right that's why you people still bow to the Pope yeah <laughs> We bow to no man. Now, many of you have this in your church yeah. and in your house. Yeah. Your church yeah. and in your house. Yeah. Some of you go and kiss the picture. Yeah. Some of you say that the eyes of statues and pictures cry blood. Yes. Some of you are bowing. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. Yeah. In the name of whose son is this? Whose son is that? I, I mean, whose son is this fella? That's right. This is Baal's son. son. This is the devil's son. This is the son of a liar. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You would 
say, oh, he called Jesus a liar. That's not Jesus. That's not Jesus. That's not Jesus. Get up off your knees. Get up. Stop making a cross. That's right. Get up off your knees. That's idolatry. That's idolatry. Am I right? I said. This has contaminated religion. See, a lot of us don't know the impact that imagery has. Oh, yeah. Amen. They have put it in your Bibles. Yes. You got it on your stained windows. Yes. You got it on the walls of your house. Yes. God says, look unto me, all the ends of the earth, and be ye saved. God didn't say, look at a poster. Oh, no. You see, this Satanism has got to come out the churches. That's why your churches are so weak. You're idolatrous. You bow to your preacher. We bow to God. You know the Pope's supposed to be coming to Philadelphia. You're going to find people bowing to him. Oh, no. If Pope was an apostle like Peter, Amen. Peter said, stand up. Stand up. I'm a man like you. Right. Stand up. Right. Peter, right. stand up, I said. Right. The power of imagery. It brands something in a person's mind. It brands something in a person's mind. So what have happened is this brand have made bigots in the past feel justified in slavery. That's right. And one of the methods used to take the fight out the slave is to hold this brand in front of them. That's right. And because the slave didn't know the scripture, the learned European yeah. misinterpreted scripture and said, Obey your master. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Listen, viewers. This are symbols of terrorism. That's right. Now I know many of you don't like it, and I don't care. Okay. Made an express. This are symbols of terrorism. The scripture that the European used when Ham saw the nakedness of his father. Oh. I don't know, I don't want none of my white brothers and white sisters writing me. Pastor Jennings, you you, you sound like you hate white folk. No. I hate wickedness. Yeah. I don't care who listen, white supremacy is no better than black supremacy. I don't believe in no supreme race. I believe in only one supreme God. That's right. This, this will be just as evil if the paintings were black. black. Still just evil. So all of you churches, all of you, all of you, get me, get me, get me now. Take this. And that, <laughs> see this here, this crucifix, this right here is a lie. That's a lie. And you have to understand.
understand this. Many people are going to feel a type of way about this sermon. They're going to they're going to feel a type of way about this message. But at the end of the day, we always go back to what's in the book. We always go back to what's in the Bible. And in the Bible, it gives a description. And in that description, it says that Jesus had skin of bronze, hair of wool, and his eyes were like a like a red furnace. Now, I don't know how they get a blue eyed blonde man out of that. Listen, and I'm not here to make any accusations. I'm not here to take this side or that side. But Geno Jennings preached a sermon on this and said that that was the trick of the enemy. That was the trick of the enemy. And if you sit back and really think about it, if you sit back and you do your research, where was Jesus born? Could a white man hide in that area over there? He would have stuck out like a sore thumb. So you really have to put your best knowledge, your best understanding into play. When discussing or hearing this sermon, it's nothing to be mad about. Jesus is Jesus. And we love him if he was blue, black, brown, orange, purple. It don't matter. He's our Lord and Savior. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Like and share the video as well, man. Say, i really like to give a shout out to all y'all that keep tuning in with me, man. We're going to continue to stay on a positive note, man. When kings talk, the conversation different. And everybody can't handle the truth. And that's okay. But that don't mean we got to stop spreading the truth. We going to stay on one accord, man. The days that we living now and in, today, everybody scared of the truth. They don't acknowledge the truth. They get mad about the truth. But the truth is the truth. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all next time.